Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Don't forget, man, we do got the Patreon, man. Anything that you... Yeah, we can't watch on YouTube. We watch it over here on Patreon. You know, only Fools and Horses, Peep Show, Misfit, Inbred, This is England, and the list goes on. There's a bunch of old shows we watched before. Um, Y'all can go check that out. The link is down in the description. And if you're looking for any of my older videos, the videos that made this channel what it is today, they're over here on the Lit One uh, Facebook. Now, I'm slowly but surely re-uploading them onto this page on YouTube, but if I'm not moving fast enough, here you go. And don't forget, we do got the Discord as well. The Discord is for uh, when um, when we go live on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, do live reactions. Uh, some I get some reactions, like documentaries for the channel on here as well. But anyway, man, we're here for Police Interceptors. <laughs> Police interceptors. I forgot about this. Hold on. Don't forget this one too, man. I forgot. This is in the this is this this page is also down below. The lit one live. If you miss any of the lives, there'll be shorts. Uh this is from Twitch Live and YouTube Live. There's shorts up there. There's reactions that don't make it to the main page. A bunch of stuff, man. Don't forget I got UK team members for this channel. This channel was not ran by me. It's ran by people in the UK. A couple guys I got from the UK to they do this one. I'm not this creative. <laughs> I can't make these shorts like this. Uh, anyway, man, Police Interceptors. This is season 21. Episode two. I don't want to do episode two. Did I not do episode one as on here? I think this is episode one. Yep. All right, let's get into this. It's a slow shift in the Unmarked 3 series for John Lee and Dan Butler. Smooth and aggressive if you don't mind, Daniel. Not to have an automatic drum. <laughs> but things are about to change gear. Oh, nice. A cloned vehicle? There's a cloned Toyota Aventis that's just come into Nottinghamshire from, uh, from Yorkshire. It's a fair hike to the Yorkshire border. We're just going to make the ground up half. You've travelled normal road speed up there. You're going to be 50 minutes, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. But Dan doesn't do normal speeds. On quiet roads, he's trained to top a ton. It's dead quiet, isn't it? <laughs> While his partner... Check for me. Uh, we'll be up there shortly. What's the fastest route to the cloned car? That clone has just done the A60 Langold northbound. John's been on the force for nearly two decades. He's ex-military and a master map reader. Damn. Two decades? Ex-military? I wonder how his attitude is, man. I'm curious. A634 drive road. Who's led them straight to the cloaked car. Well, there it is. Uh, yeah, I've got it. I've got that cloned Toyota. We are B6045, Bawtry Road towards Blythe Services. Guiding in the T-Pack units, they tail the Toyota in the unmarked. I didn't see what time it was, but I'm pretty sure, like, in Chicago, they would have been on him much faster because <laughs> there's more police around. Also, it's a larger city, but still. Destiners. They don't want to spook him into making a break for it. Try and give him loads of space now, yeah. John. Yeah. Where's everybody else then? Like your seven, we are on my field road. Multiple units are racing to intercept. Yeah, we are traveling towards it. Including Macca at the wheel of a 155 mile per hour Skoda with rookie Mike Leesk 
who's in for the ride of his life. Is that fast? Life. Can we contact uh, Ted, see if they've got any possibility of a stinger at that location? A stinger team's racing from the other direction. I feel like 155 miles an hour is the top speed that has never been reached in that car. Like, everything has to be going right <laughs> like for it to hit that. To take out the Toyota's tyres if the driver runs. Stinger's on right. When we get suitable vehicles, we'll go for a preemptive three car box. That's speed. We've got near side indication that it is off, off, off. How many is in it? There's definitely somebody in the back. There's definitely somebody in the front. Attention. And it does appear to be two, maybe three up. The race is on for reinforcements. No four south on the A1, please. Five. Y'all never curious of how this, how long this really took in real time? He has his hands full, navigating at these speeds. Right or left, you're going right onto right blue. Well, it's either way, really. But I think he is aware of our presence now. You're on Google Maps. <laughs> Things are heating up, particularly for the rookie. This is where you're going to earn your money, mate. This is the car, this is the one, this is the job of the night. No pressure, Mike. Why am I going towards the A1 this way? Yeah, you can go right uh, onto High Street, and the A1's here. Yeah. They've arrived. This is the off slip. But at the wrong side of the A1. There's a diversion because it's closed. I want to get A1 southbound directions. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dan and John have lit up the Avensis. We have uh, now. How the hell was he supposed to know that it was closed? You know what I'm saying? See, that's what I don't use Google Maps. You know what I'm saying? You got to use something else because they just steered you. On your first Moving day. The, lights, the vehicle is failing to stop. Right. And just off the A1, the pursuit is on. Speed 7-0 is on the wrong side of the carriageway. You're just coming off the A1 now behind the car. Mike's got Macca back on track and their Skoda arrives to join the pursuit. Yeah, just got your ear right. Two in the stick. We're approaching a humpback bridge. Traffic lights are on red. It is up to high risk. Stand by. The bad guy sails through at 75. <laughs> Heading for a short, sharp shock at Barnbury Moor Junction. I've got to pick a I'm ahead of you. I'm at the junction. I could have swore just a minute ago this was a dirt road. Understand, Stinger. Understand, Stinger. Stand by. Spikes out. We're just approaching the junction for Barnby Moor. Three, two, one. Boom. Stinger! Oh <laughs> With the Stinger team hidden off road, the runaway races over spikes that sting both near side tyres. Dan has a split second to react, while Team Stinger takes a bow in the hedgerow. Was the sting successful? Things close up, Macca. Macca, can you close up? Closing up. Easier said than done at these speeds. Wow. This ought to be the end game. I think he has got uh, near side tyres uh, deflated. But the cloned clown carries on weaving all over the road. If we with you, John. Know how hard it is to drive with flat tires, especially at high speeds. <gasps> you putting a lot of people at risk, my boy. Macker and Mike have closed up and get a closer look. There's two in there, one male, female. Their Skoda gets ahead of the target, but not for long. How? He's missing two tires. How y'all let him get back in front of y'all? 
This is proper wacky races in the back of beyond. Trying to get the box on high risk. High risk, Alex. We got uh, the other T-Pack mobiles in the vicinity. Even with flat tyres, he's a tall order for two cop cars. Maka makes another dash for the high ground. Yeah, season 21, crazy. Y'all done added music to the chases. <laughs> Y'all wilding out. But can't hold it. Uh, okay, yeah, but what do we what yeah, do? Shell shocked, Maka gives way to Dan's Beamer. This guy's off the charts dangerous. Bradford Road and HE is uh, making contact. I ain't even gonna lie, buddy, you going to jail. There ain't no escape in this one. With uh, our vehicles. Where's everyone else? They need cavalry, fast. There's no other road users. Yeah. Still no other road users. But as they approach civilization, One opposer. Worrying signs of life. We've got one vehicle towards, stand by. The stakes have been raised. Given his driving, if traffic gets heavier, they may be forced to abort. He's on the opposing side of the carriageway. Incoming. He has lost the tyre. Stand by. <laughs> he on three wheels. That boy done drove the axle about this one. Incoming again. He's running out of rubber. And he's they... on two wheels. Oh, no, he's on the... That's the tire, the actual rubber. So the, the rim is still on there. You really don't want to let him go. Box on here. Oh, no, 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 not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. It's going to be any minute now. Yeah. Just stay stand by, Mac. It's going to be any minute now. Stand by, Mac. The thrash to Vences is making a right racket. What's that, sir? That's his wheel. On his rims now. And H, the vehicle is now on its rims. Uh, stand by. Dan goes for the overtake. But the bad guy slams the door. Dan, do you want me to go in front? Because he's already smashed the back of this car. I'm not gonna lie, this might be one of the best police chases that I've seen on this show so far. And when I say best, I mean most entertaining, because I'm here for entertainment purposes. Me too. This is high stakes stuff. Yes, yes. And as Makaskoda switches to lead the pursuit. Hello, Mr. Glide, stop by. They're on borrowed time to box him in on safe roads. But they can't stop him. At this point, like, I know y'all don't... Oh, you said, so, y'all told me to, um, a pit maneuver is only for automatic cars. Okay. I don't know why. As Maka cuts inside, the runaway mounts the footpath, almost loses it, and misses an oncoming car by a coat of paint. They need to end this before someone's seriously hurt. No, it is. We need to stop this. Like, low-key? Like, this far into a chase with this much going on? I, like, I think they should have been ended this chase, right? Because if something catastrophic happens at this point in time, now as an officer, you're under investigation. We learned this from Ben. You know, we did we, when we watched the ex police interceptors. Um, <clears throat> when we watched his little interviews. So at this point, like he's he's not stopping. <laughs> it's getting dangerous. Interceptors are embroiled in the mother of all pursuits. She is uh, making contact with uh, our vehicles. Dan's Beamer and Maka Skoda are all over a clone Toyota Avensis. Stinger! Oh <laughs> That's already been hit by a Stinger. Y'all need another one. 
put on rims shooting sparks into the night. On his rims now. The bad guy <coughs> refuses to give an inch. And somehow he's still on the road. He's in a wagon. Yes, we need to stop this car quickly. Yeah. They can't afford to wait for the cavalry. This calls for death defying teamwork. Dan cuts inside again. A tactical nudge from his beamer spins the Toyota sideways as Maka flies by and bravely blocks its escape. It's a hell of a hit, but they've stopped him. Drivers in the back seat. Dude, he just jumped in the back seat like, nah, he ran. It wasn't me. In one last oh, dodgy maneuver, the driver leaps in the back, hoping to deny causing tonight's life threatening chaos. It won't work, and nor will locking the car. You're the driver! You've changed seats! Get out! Get out! The driver's through the back window and into cuffs. He's a driver, he's just changed seats! Dad's gone, Dad's gone. The passengers soon follow suit. And the cavalry has materialized at last. Yeah, you gotta believe that there's gonna be some aggression after this type of chase. Oh yeah. The rest dangerous driving failed to stop. I think Dan said he's jumped in the back. Lad! My bad. <laughs> and breathe. He was driving like Laffy. You know what I'm saying? Thought that was Laffy. He was getting it. Don't try that at home. This is a TV show, man. The cops will get you. This vehicle has now been stopped. It has rammed uh, numerous police vehicles and caused uh, a fair bit of damage. This guy is definitely the driver. He jumped out the driver's seat as we came to a stop. Driver's in the back seat. Back seat driver is only 18. Have you got a full licence? No, no, no. You're banned. And he's been disqualified once already. No, that, that... No, no, I did give his name a minute ago. I just did give me name to don't lie, mate. No point lying because it's all on camera. I, I said, give me name. if you listen, I said you did give the oh, name. Oh, no. Just calm yourself down again. Yeah, I'm just saying. Bring That's it down what? a bit. It's all done now, isn't it? Yeah, can you not snap your hands then? I'm not At snapping your hands. I've got all the hands. Can we sit me in the back of the car, mate? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All he's got is he's a disqualified driver with no insurance. He's passed the breath test, passed the drug wipe. The car's been searched. There's nothing in it. It's on false plates, but it... He, that man just took y'all on a chase for no reason. He just did it. It's not stolen. It just shows you... It did yawning. <laughs> Bro is a demon. The, the, the massive risks people have... He's wild for that. Ju just for, for... He put a whole community at risk. I do not glorify and sensationalize any of this. I, do, I don't even condone it, YouTube. I'm just here. Watch him. Being disqualified driver. Miraculously, there were no serious injuries. Just a baptism of fire for rookie Mike and a headache for Macca. I blocked him in there and he's impacted the side of the car. So the side airbag's gone off, but that's hit me in the face because I was looking out the window. So, bit of a sore head, but I'm all right. They're made of stern stuff in knots. Yeah, thick head from Mansfield. No further action was taken against the passengers in the Toyota and no charges made regarding the allegations of cloned plates. However, the 18-year-old who hopped from the hot seat pleaded guilty to dangerous driving, driving whilst disqualified and no insurance. And what did he get? A nine-month suspended sentence and a 15-month ban plus a 20-day rehab programme and three-month curfew under electronic tag. All things, all things said and done, I feel like he still, he got off easy. He got off light. That's a light sentence right there. Nine months suspended, because that's all that really mattered. Like, you ain't in jail. He was sentenced on his 19th birthday, a date he was lucky to see. I'll tell you what, if it had not been stung, he would have killed someone. Police officer with a taser. Work as an interceptor for a few years and you get to know your enemy. What's your name? James. James. 
No, it's not. It's Joshua. And? I think he's going to try and run, you know. Your enemy's M.O. Run up, run up. He's running, Brown. He's running, he's running. Running, running, running. running, running. Oh man, that dog is on you. It's over, buddy. Which today? Can you tell whether it's one or two up? Is he going to do musical chairs? Is musical chairs? On one occasion, we got behind him, but his missus was in the front passenger seat, and he gave himself just enough distance that they could swap seats. Dan and Matt are after a disqualified driver, reportedly linked to drugs. By the time cops got, got to the driver's door, she yep. was sat in the driver's seat. They're wise to the lad's games. They just need to catch him playing them. We'd be fully expectant of a failed stop with him if he was in the car on his own. If his missus in the car, he's more likely to try that trick again and swap. I don't even get it. If your girl is in the car and she can drive, let her drive. It ain't even that serious. Hey, my mind suspended. Let's not even play these type of games, man. Go ahead, drive. <laughs> Let me be the passenger prince. Passenger king today. Off seats before we can get to the driver's door. Matt nicked an armed gunman in a burning building and got commended by the Queen. But less about the British throne. Uh, a black Audi A1. More about musical chairs in a German motor. It, we're behind it. Just go to it and get it on quickly, I think. The disqualified driver's at the wheel. As he pulls into a retail park... Down the side of the Costa drive through. Dan keeps tight, so Matt can reach the chair before the music stops. Put your running toes on. Who's it going to be? Vehicle stopped. No one. Hey, mate, you're disqualified, aren't you? Me. Mr. and Mrs. Suspect are both in the passenger seat. Yeah. Watch his hand. I ain't got nothing. That's that, Betty. He's been detained and the car's going to be seized. All right. Seized for what, though? For you driving without insurance or a licence, that's why. Well, I haven't. You, we've just seen you drive, buddy. We've just seen you, mate. You've just seen you. You passed straight across the top of our car. Listen, I'm yeah. not going to run. That's I'm not fine. going to argue nothing. Wicked. No, that's sound. We're all good. Nick, that's all I want to know. Are you going to get arrested? Yeah. At this present moment of time, what we've got in front of us, no, you're not getting arrested. Unless I find something else in your car. Is there anything else that we need to be aware of when you're in the car, buddy? What? Is there anything else we need to be aware of on you or in the car? Any drugs, weapons, anything? Just my weed, mate. Just a bit of weed? Was well, a lot? A little bit? Just what I smoke. Just what you smoke? Yeah. All right, buddy, that's sound. If it's just a little bit of personal use, again, you ain't getting nicked, buddy. Like I said to you, I got my Rizla, my weed in there. The suspect's on best behaviour as they search him. So just going to take your hat off, just check under your hat, buddy. All right, we can do that. Yeah, I'm See, the... now this smart. See, this is what I always say, man. If you know you're doing something wrong, if you know you're doing something wrong, yo, be on your best behaviour. Maybe there'll be light on you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> The lip around. Yeah, yeah, I've got it, mate. Nice I'm one, dude. You, man. And the Audi. That boot lift lifts up the one, mate. Yeah, I've got it, buddy, yeah. <laughs> What's with the baseball bat? My puppet. Is your what? My puppet. Are you puppet? You beat, what, you beat it with it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you see what it is? No, I'll just get on the ground. I'll put it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll go like that. I'm just chasing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No drugs are found beyond the personal he's already owned up to, but twin phones arouse suspicion. Hey, so what? <laughs> Got cannabis on the phones. They're going to have to come in for pee wits, aren't they? Yeah. Mate, you're under arrest. What? OK, possession with intent to supply cannabis. Obviously, you drive without insurance and you're DQ, aren't you, as well? So disqualified yeah. driving. At this time, I'm arresting you on suspicion of possession with intent to supply Class B drugs. She has nothing to do with it. No, she's coming in as well, and then you'll both have an interview. Parting may... Dang, he said that's her? ...be such sweet sorrow. But when dealing is suspected, romance is dead. You lot are going to try and all this with me. I just want to know that she's all right, innit? Mate, she's, 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 she's got the dog at home. Yeah, but I know, I know, I know. But I'm on about releasing. You'll be released at the same time, so you'll still go home with her, mate. So there's no issues there. All right, jump in, mate. Let's get going. A final fond farewell. Love you, yeah.
and Romeo and Juliet ride off to the Bridewell. Meanwhile, interceptors want to search their home. Yes, yes. The star-crossed lovers gave separate addresses, but intel suggests they actually live together somewhere else. We've now got a bit of information to suggest they might be in a flat complex not too far from here, um, but we don't have a house number. See, to me, that's crazy that they got authorization in the UK to do all it is. Just off finding two phones, now you can go search my flat? Like, what? This is a traffic stop. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? What they do have is a gate fob and two matching door keys. So it's here somewhere. How many doors have we got to try keys in? If they can find the correct door, they should get authority for a Section 18 search. Well, the door's open. Oh, okay, cool. Open Sesame but only to the communal stairwell. Yeah, what well, understand? Well, do we not know which flat it is then? Can you fit the door? No. Got it, time four, we've got the address. Get the 18 authorised then. Supplied with the exact address, the inspector soon authorises entry. That's crazy. Please. Police officer with a taser, stay where you are. A quick sweep reveals nobody's home. We've got a couple of lock knives there straight away. They in the house though. They not on person. And it doesn't take long to discover the suspect's baseball bat chasing puppy. Oh hello. <laughs> More Walmart. class B. Nice. More cannabis. And things not found in your average kitchen. Okay. Oh. The cash. They're fresh there. And they, they're as well as the secret stash of fake money, there are keys to a Ford Fiesta. Oh, safe key. I've got one here. With twin safes in the boot. In the first safe... On the key that we've taken off them opens this safe and inside is a large amount of Class A bundles. Mm. And in the other... A lot more Class A. Mm. Which are white rocks. Bingo. So, big hole. A lot of class A. Sarge. Bingo indeed. So we've got to take the list as well. Yeah. Could have five, six. Dang! Hey, imagine a traffic stop. I got stopped 20 miles away from the house. And y'all did, they did all of this. Like, if they was able to do this in Chicago, nobody would be moving anything at all. This is wild. <laughs> Every what time I see this. Thousands of pounds in there. They in a million years probably didn't expect us to find this. Mr. Musical Chairs was found guilty of driving whilst disqualified and no insurance. He got fines totaling 230 driving. What was? Yeah. They in a Mr. M got fines totaling chairs was found 130. And you know what's crazy? Those safe, both of them have combination locks on them. So you don't have to even have the key. So just imagine, like, hypothetically speaking, just playing devil's, uh, just just playing both sides. If he just didn't have that key on him, they wouldn't have been able to get in there. <laughs> 13 pounds, a 12 month ban, 40 hours unpaid work, and an eight week suspended sentence. Meanwhile, the haul from a locked safe in a locked car open with keys from a locked flat behind a locked gate has been sent to the lab for testing. Wild. Romeo and Juliet are under investigation for possession with intent to supply. If convicted, they could be locked up. Oh, Coming up. Why would you put that in? It sounds like it's a fightable thing though. Like if you get the right lawyer, if your lawyer is um, one punch, from that, from the the main character in One Punch, if if he's that guy, like you might win. You gotta have them type of that type of energy in the courtroom. Gender studies with box up. Gender studies with the gender studies. Gender studies with the gender studies. We're looking for a blue Audi A3. Been confirmed as a cloned vehicle. Jim and Lewis are part of a team hoping to stop a cloned Audi. 
Its false plate could hide her. No insurance or some meaty bad guy activity. We're going to catch this car, man. We're going to catch... Get the fuck... One of my boys, right? To the, is his birthday? Is his birthday? Oh, his birthday is coming up. His girl. I think they've been together for less than a year, maybe. His girl took him to Rome. So right now he's in Amsterdam, Netherlands, in a coffee shop, doing coffee shop things. That's crazy. It's like, what I'm doing wrong? Why I gotta be? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But that's that's tough. That's a W. My my reply, because he just sent that to me right now. I said, you got to marry her now. That's tough. That's tough. Catch it. We're going to tea pack it. and going to catch a bad guy. Jim didn't make Sergeant without an optimistic outlook. And the Sarge has high hopes of a major bust. But Lewis has looked into his crystal ball and predict something small time. I think it's just going to be an insurance job. The ultimate optimist, aren't you? I just think it is, mate. Yeah. We're going to hold at the garden centre at the Bard Hills RA. I think 24, 25 and 26 need to be covered. 2, 3. We are at junction 24. We'll stay here. Cars are plotting up across the area. Blue, three-door, Audi A3. But it's the optimist who spots it first. It's in lane one. Contact, contact with the subject vehicle. It's a female driver. Reinforcements are en route, including Paul and Rich. Got you in sight with about four vehicles behind. Swiftly followed by Clarkie. Continuing. Got three in the stick. There's now three in the stick. Every stop is like a secret mission. Like The driver cuts in front of a van. That's a strange reaction, that is. It's made a really strange move. Now you commit the straight on. So we might need to get up to it sooner rather than later. Oh, mate, that's holding traffic now. No time like the present. Close up, box on. Take the keys out. Take the keys out. Mad aggressive. That's the way to do it. Open the door. Open the door now. I get the, I get the purpose of a... Um... On the tea pack, but like that, it just seems aggressive. If you've never been stopped by the by the police in the UK, like if you just visit in, or, or or you like an outstanding citizen of the law, or you just never by chance got stopped by the police, and this is how they stop you on the first, tra 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 and this is how they stop you on the first like try, like you're bound to have a crazy reaction. Like if this is me, I'd be like, whoa, whoa hold on now. <laughs> Like you buy on the like, might even be mad. Like this is mad aggressive. There are two passengers. One of them, a baby. There's a baby in the car. Can you get the camera away? Or can you get the camera away? The camera is the least of your issues right now. So forget the camera. We'll deal with what we stopped you for. If you what don't mind getting out, then? this car is believed to be on false plates. The car's on false plates. No, it's not. I just bought the car. Have you? Okay, sort it. But why would you come like this? Because that's what I'm saying. Car, cars but I don't place. care. Why would you, you come like things. this? Like I'm a drug dealer or you a gun in the car. I don't know you do. For all I know. I'm a woman, but why are you coming like to make a, a woman, scene up on the road and then bring camera? So that, that's, that. that's facts. It is irrelevant, you know. Everybody's equal now. That's irrelevant. It's irrelevant if is it, what your gender is, is it? Have you even got permission for right. you to put can me on I camera? On the side? No, why am I going to come on right. side when you've because got a camera in, in the my middle. Face. If you like, I can put you in handcuffs and we Look, can take you, you to the side the of the road. Or you can walk round. Oh Both driver and passenger aren't making it easy. When I'm saying come in and talk to me, I mean come in and talk to me. That means come doesn't... Come down here, then, that means don't walk away from me or you'll end up in cuffs. Those number plates aren't for this car. Well, when I you sign, you sign, don't you? I think a piece of paper. Yeah, but that... buy a car. But... They didn't, that won't have had this number plate on it. No, I didn't have a logbook with the car. It's all being paid for your side. I'm in on a provisional licence. And I was going to insure it with a, what's it called, provisional You're not insured. Someone... It's all being paid for your side. You're not insured, you haven't got a licence, and this is on false plates. But I haven't put it on false plates, that's what I'm saying to you. No insurance job, just as Lewis predicted. But that doesn't mean he's pleased about it. It's not great though, is it? You're only kidding me, you haven't got a licence. Yeah, the reason we stopped you in the manner that we did is because... As far as we know, it's a car on false number plates, right? 
And we don't know what it could be, be. What it could be. That's the problem. It could be anything. Because if somebody decides to go steaming down here at 100 mile an hour, they could kill somebody like you with your kid, couldn't they? She's no major crim, but carrying a kid in an uninsured car without a valid licence is still a no-no. Allegedly, she's bought it with the false number plates on. Could be true, could not be true. Uh, but either way, the false number plates have covered up the fact she's got no licence and no insurance. Uh, but certainly not master criminal of the century, I don't think. But Sergeant Optimist hasn't abandoned the major crime angle. I found a firearm. Well, you need to be careful, because this is the Huntsman Auto Scout SNA 79 GB. I'm still a crack shot. <laughs> don't tell Lewis. He's the best shot on the department. 79 GB. I'm still a crack shot. She's been here for a while. She's in season 19 that I was just watching. That, why I skipped from 19 to 21 is because there are no more episodes on YouTube, third party. So, done. <laughs> Don't tell Lewis. He's the best shot in the department, remember? Our legal team has asked us to point out that the Huntsman Auto Scale SNA79GB is not a genuine firearm. <laughs> <laughs> and the driver's free to take it, along with the rest of her belongings, to the nearest taxi rank. All right, take her. At the wheels of a vehicle, she is qualified to drive. No further action was taken regarding the cloned plates. So was the car really hers or no? But Lady Audi awaits her day in court after receiving a traffic offence report for driving without a licence and no insurance. Was the car really hers or not? As to the outcome, only Mystic Lewis knows that. Lewis predicts. I predict. Put your hands on the tree. Put your hands on the tree. Interceptors take reports of guns deadly seriously. Stand still. Stand still. Hands up. Even in the hands of kids. We've had some information that one of you three's got a gun. Oh, no, it's a BB gun. Who are usually playing silly beggars with BB guns. You've got firearms cops here pointing guns at you. You could end up six feet under, mate, couldn't you? BBs fire metal or plastic balls. It's illegal to carry one in public. Parents will buy them with kids to play with in the garden, and then kids will think, oh, I'm going to take, start taking that out and play with my mates without thinking of the consequences. Because in their head, it's like, well, it's a toy. Kids are kids. They're not fully mature, and no. their decisions aren't always going to be the same decisions an adult would make. And, uh, yeah, they do make some pretty poor choices. The sun's shining in Sutton in Ashfield, but Phil Broughton's not here to catch rays. Yes, sir. There's been a report uh, of a 11-year-old uh, boy that's been uh, hit in the face or shot in the face with a BB gun. It's causing injury to his eye. They need to nab the culprits before someone else gets hurt. We know one's uh, on a bike and the other one's uh, walking with them with some face coverings. And if anyone can find them, it's Phil. I've got a group of kids wandering around with a BB gun. Uh, and they put it in the bag that they were carrying. And allegedly one of them was on a bike and one of them was walking. Well, yeah, obviously, because you're all on bikes and you've got little bags. Have you got uh, any BB guns on you? Uh, no. No? Yeah. Definitely. So what's in his bags? Anything? I don't know. I just have a phone. Yeah, phone. Cool. But we did see a lad, like, all the way down here. Some lads down here. No worries. Phil's a master at sniffing out lies, and there's a whiff of BS about their BB denial. Well, like you, that looks like it's padded out with other BBs. No? Mm. Let's have a quick oh. look inside it. Like Just open it up for us. Come here. Yeah. Not gonna lie, we did find a vape though, you weren't bad. Oh, why are we a bit reluctant to open that? Let's have a look. Phil's head's not turned by their red herring flavoured vape. Let's have a look in that bag for us. Sorry? 
Why? Because yeah. I just want to make sure there's no gun in it. Well, we've got inside it. Oi, police officer, I'll be honest with you. We found a vape all the way over there. Do you want that? Is that what it is? No, but we did find a vape if you want it. No, can you just open that for us? Come on, let's have a quick go. Oh dear. Come and take a seat in the back of my car. Well, we don't know what's going off yet, do we? Pass us that bag. I think I may have found your offender for this uh, BB job. I don't know if you've got another free unit to come and join us because I'm with uh, four other kids, just need to grab details. I think the vape. Well, they don't want to vape, my boy. Keep is the least of the uh, worries at the moment, yeah, isn't it? I just want to be clear with you, but we did find a vape. No worries. Yeah, we okay. Yeah, we no, no, just hang fire a second for us. I've just got another cop coming down to us, so we just grab everybody's details. All right. That might be easier said than done. What's your name? Tom. Sorry. Tom. Why? Tom. Well, I need to know your details, don't I? Because one, you're walking around with a BB gun when we shouldn't really be walking around with a BB gun. And there's some allegation that you've been shooting people with. Wait, I've never shot someone. You haven't? No. Oh, we don't know yet. We're getting to the bottom of that. How old are you? Just turned 12. Just turned 12. Well, happy birthday for when it was. Reinforcements have arrived to deal with his mates. The lad who I've got in the back, he's got that black bag on him. He's got the blue BB gun in his pocket. Oh, yeah. He was on the back of a bike with him. Yeah. So I've not searched them all yet. I've asked them to turn the bags out. I can't see anything. Soon. Yeah, we'll have a quick look. I just got. Do you fire? Just hang fire a second. Yeah, no worries. Uh, it's just obviously he was with somebody at the time, so I just need to narrow down <laughs> who it was. Gonna check. These good kids, man. Good kids. Okay, everyone's details are okay. I can't lie. When I was a kid, if this would have happened. The bikes is fast. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to take you out the way down here and take a photograph of yourself and the bike. Because I need to yeah, establish... Yeah, but you were on it, weren't you? Yeah, but you're fine. Because I, I, I came got... out to meet these... <laughs> no, <laughs> I swear, I, I, this... Whose bike is it? It's that one. It's his bike, is it? Dang! They all telling on each other. What happened, yeah, right. is... Doesn't matter who you were on the bike at the time. So bring your bike over here so I can take a picture of it. Cool, thank you very much. Do you want to do the same? Bring your bike down here and stand here next to it. There we go. Photo shoot concluded. Cool, thank you very much. Phil fills them in. I'm just waiting for one of my colleagues going to speak to somebody who's alleged to have been hit by one of his BBs. I ain't even gonna lie, if I was their age, I would've. Mom? Hey, Mom? <laughs> Can you come down here? I just wanna make sure who's involved and who's not involved. Green Bella Carver, riding that orange bike. He had a number of face masks in his bag, didn't he? It was a green one. Oh, okay. The pavement four are free to go, for now. Take away from today that if you're going to behave like this, you're going to end up at a police station. You're going to end up in a cell. And worst case scenario, if you seriously injure someone, you're going to end up probably going to prison. I've told you, I'll be honest. I told you, I'll be honest. I found a vape down there and I didn't do any. Right. It doesn't matter. You're with somebody that's got a BB gun with them. All right. Now, I don't know whether or not he's been pointing it or it was one of you guys, but ultimately, it's wrong and it shouldn't be happening. So, from today, take away from that. Yeah, and just learn your lesson. Exactly, yeah. And I don't want to see you again. Because I don't believe for one minute you didn't know you, he had that in his bag. Uh, we knew he had it. We knew he had it. Mm. You... Can y'all stop talking so much? You know what, the kids. Parents will be getting a phone call, so we will be making them aware. So it's entirely up to you. They either find out from us or they find out from you. But one parent's ahead of the game. Oh, uh... Can I speak to you, mate? Hello? Hello, Mum. Mum's eager to hear the full story. If I leave here now, I'll be about five minutes. And Phil aims to please. You've been in a police car before? No. No, oh, that's scary. I remember my first ride in a police car like it was yesterday. Ah. Mm -mm. Terrible. I take it this one's yours. Yeah. 
Hold on, let me see something. Wait, where, where how far were we? We were at 34.43. Hold on, let me see. 34.33. Okay, here we go. With BB gone. Oh, I need to know your details. 34.33. Let me see. Look, look at the back of the police car. In Chicago, there is no cushioning. There is straight, it's straight plastic in the back, just in case people throw up in the back seats or whatever. They're easy to clean out. Um, there's a rail separating the the back and the front, of course, and 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 it's it's this looks plush. I ain't gonna hold you. Compare and contrast, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. What's happened today is we've had a report of some kids uh, uh, in possession of a BB gun. Uh, they've shot a 11-year-old in the face with said BB gun, and it's hit him in the eye. Uh, uh, we're just finding that out, so fingers crossed. So I need to stress to you, there's no way he should be wandering around the streets with a BB gun. He has been told that he's not allowed to. What are you going to do the rest of your day? Stay mum. Good. He's going to get a turn off from his mum. He's going to get interviewed by the police, which hopefully that will sink in. And those other kids that were with him, they're all going to get a, a, a chat with parents as well about it. No further action was taken against the boys on the pavement. The child shot in the face made a full recovery from minor bruises to their eye and the matter was settled with an agreement between the victim's family and the family of the lad with the BB gun. As for any private punishment, mum's the word. Coming up. Around 15 million people in the UK live in poverty. Mm. Millions turn to its 2,000 food banks to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Others turn to crime. We're after. Um, I know two plate Vauxhall combo van that's been involved in the shop theft this morning uh, on uh, Beeston Lane. Jim's back on patrol, this time with Dan Machin in an armed response vehicle. Did this van do the northbound camera? Sending the cream of the firearm squad to Nick's shoplifters is like using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. But Jim and Dan are in the right place. Right there. At the right time. That's it. The box Big blue van, huh? All van chaps, we've just seen Attention. it parked up, uh, unaccompanied on St Paul's Avenue, facing out towards Radford Road. We've just overshot it to the end of St Paul's Avenue, we're just spinning back round. They need to lie in wait for the suspects to return, but their ARV has all the subtlety of a neon sign saying, run for it. It's just at the bottom of this road, facing out towards Radford Road. So they call in the stealth squad. So the plane ARV is just over the road at Asda. So I think they're going to stick themselves in a place where they can ob it and we're going to sit ourselves out of the way, see if we can wait for it to move off and then see if we can drop on it. It's moving off now, I think. So I think our van's on the move. Leaving an unmarked X5 to tail the van, Dan races to get behind them. I'm with you now, mate. Yes, yes. But by the time he's tucked into the convoy, the suspects in the van have spotted their tail. They are aware, looking in the mirrors, uh, passenger anyway. Stand by. Where run this is? They're expecting a decamp. Oh, drop it on, drop it. Of course, I'll drop it on. So Jim exercises a cop's right to go seatbelt commando. Got your winning shoes on. Standing by for that, mate. <laughs> Isn't that illegal? Indication. Bit of a seat back round the back number. As the van pulls in, the Greyhound's out of the traps. But the hare's not running. Hello, love. The tactics going on is there no damage, no injury, and the keys are out. You all right? Yeah. Um, Jim leaves the driver to other officers and takes the passenger. 
I'll cut to the chase. Mm. Um, Van's been seen in some circumstances this morning where I think he might have been involved in the shop theft. You wouldn't know about that, would you? No. No, good. How long have you been in the van then today? Um, Wait here, darling, because at the yeah, minute... No, can I, I well, at the minute, okay, I need sorry. to make sure yeah, that you've yeah, not been involved fine. in an offence, so just calm um, down. The driver's already in cuffs, and the passenger is about to be. Darling, I'm just going to put you in handcuffs for a second. Yeah. You want to you back for me? Yeah. I'm just detaining you at the minute for the purpose of a search, because we've got some information that says this van was involved in a theft, so I need to make sure that there's nothing in here that's stolen, nothing here that's going to hurt me or you, OK? So that's why you're in handcuffs. Doing crime in this big blue van is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, dumb. <clears throat> Doing crime at all is dumb, you two. With the driver in one cop car and the passenger in another, Dan opens the van to find. I'm just getting a little bit. Another passenger. When have you got in then? Just off the green. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for this car, or yeah. this van, no. who's involved in a theft. Mm-hmm. Who's sat in the back then? Yeah. I actually don't know his name. Interesting. So I'm detaining you at this time until we can rule you out. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, no problem. Trust me, mate. I'm just going. If you have just got in it, we can check the CCTV. On the market. On the market? Just come off the market. Well, we can check that, can't we? Yeah, so you might be all right. Thank you. Stick down. Cheers, Mark. Tell me I just got in at the market, bro. They been, they waited for y'all. Yeah. If he's only just got in it, it's all right. I'm just going to double check on this. Yeah. Leaving other cops to look into the CCTV, Dan looks into the van. Ah. Your foil line bag to um, defeat security tags in shops so they don't set the alarms off at the, um, at the doors. There's a small hall in the back, but it's more happy shopper than hat and garden job. Stolen some quite basic items like the coffee, washing up liquid, meat. There's a clear description of the suspect. Mm, they was taking necessities. They just, they just really like, you know what I'm saying? They, they not shoplifting for pleasure. They shoplifting to survive. Two different things. But, you know, wrong is wrong, I guess. It is, but, no. To swipe the household staples, which is nothing like the guy from the back of the van. And CCTV confirms he got in long after the thefts. Any questions? No, thank you very much. He's free to go, but the female <laughs> passenger will remain in cuffs. Any questions? Nope, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> got up out of there, didn't he? If you stand up, I'll put your own cuffs around the front. Uh, so it's more right. comfortable for you, yeah. Am I right to just have a cigarette? Yeah, we'll sort you out. Cheers. They're not comfy, so, are they? It's I'll not, not, not put them on too tight. Actually, it's just whilst we're happy, yeah, we'll find out what's going on. I can actually dislocate my thumb and get out of What a pl... What did she just say? It's I'll not, not, not put them on too tight. Actually, it's just whilst yeah, we're happy, yeah, we'll find out no, what's I going on. I can actually dislocate my thumb and get out of them. Well, don't do that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to, but Have I'm a saying seat, that then. I can. We'll sort out a cigarette. That's a... That's... Honestly, that was one of the best things to say to them. Right shortly, all right? Yeah. Not only are you a theft thief, but you're an escape artist. <laughs> Ms Houdini oh. has chosen not to use her powers to escape. In fact, she seems settled in for a chat. Oh, you've got a firearms license. I have. Mm. Guns and ting. Yeah. She's trying to flirt. Are you actually um, proper, proper guns as well? Mm hmm. Well, that's Taser. That's gun. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, oh, I didn't notice that one. Yeah, we're, we're all firearms cops. This is a bit like much of a much. Of it. I know what you're saying, but we've not come after just because we're armed cops. It just so happened that we were in this area ah! when this van's popped up. <laughs> They don't usually send the arm cops for shoplifters. Head, it just so happens we're in the right place. Gun to my head. Um... You're not a celebrity, don't worry. Uh, 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 starred in the movie of the day. CCTV and witnesses have identified, I think, somebody that pretty much fits your description. So you sort of... Like, go. So you're sort of going to jail, buddy. It, it wasn't me, because it was. It was like a couple of vanishes and a couple of um, right. tubs of bloody wash powder that I need because I can't wash my clothes, but they're, they're Desperate times, isn't it? And I've got no money. She's admitted to stealing the items. It's 2023, man. Y'all in a recession over there. Get it? Out of sheer desperation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It'd be a difference. It's a difference for people stealing for pleasure and, and, and for people who stealing because they got nothing. Ooh. Because they can't find work or they, you know, everything that's going on in the UK and whatnot. Oh, yeah. 
No further action was taken against the driver of the van or the man found in the back. The female passenger was given a caution for theft. All right, it's over. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, man. Don't forget to follow all those links. They're down in the description. I'm gone.